Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name is Marina and today I'm going to be solving a problem for your PE transportation exam. The problem states like this. Based on the following roadway characteristics, match each value within the recommended range to its corresponding horizontal clear zone width. So here we have the um, table with the design speed, the ADT and the slope, and we need to um, match the width of the horizontal clear zone. Um, so for that, uh, we're going to be looking at our Ashton Roadside Design Guide, page 3-3, on table 3-1. And um, this is a type of problem that can show up on your exam. This is to illustrate the drag and drop type of problem where you have to uh, associate, you know, values with uh, whatever characteristics or what the question is uh, asking you. So uh, this is one type of the problems that you can uh, see on your exam day. All right, so let's uh, continue here. I already put this table here for you. And we're going to look on um, the first one. So for a 35 miles per hour and a 9, so 35 miles per hour, we are here, and 900 ADT, so we are here. And here we have the four slopes and the back slope, so let's be careful here. So we have one, two, five back slope, so we are in this uh, range right here, so 12 to 14. So for the first one, I'm going to put 13. Um, and then uh, for the next one, we have the 60 miles per hour and we have uh, 1,500 ADT. Uh, this can be a little bit confusing, so you can um, see yourself asking if you are in this range or in this range. So basically, uh, I want to take a moment to explain this uh, a little clearly uh, here. So basically, uh, under, under 750 means that the 750 is not included, okay? And when you have the second range, which is 750 up to 1,500, the 750, the lower limit is included and the upper limit is not included. And then we have the 1,500 and we have the 6,000, okay? So this is included because the other one is over 6,000. So, so that you, you keep that in mind. Um, so for the second one, we're going to be looking at the third lane here. So this range, right? Um, and we have a four slope of 1 to 8. So 1 to 8 is actually on this uh, column here because uh, 1 to 8 is flatter than 1 to 6. So we're going to look at a value that is within uh, 26 and 30. So for that, uh, we can put 28. For the 45 miles per hour, we are here and under 750 because 500 and a four slope of 1 to 6. So 1 to 6, we are here, 10 to 12, so 11. The next one, uh, 70 miles per hour, and then we have um, ADT of 1,800, so we are in this range right here, and a forest slope of 1 to 5. So a value within 34 and 42, uh, so we have here 38. And then for a 30 miles per hour, so we are here again, uh, and 650, so under 500, uh, 750, and a back slope, so now we are looking at a back slope of 1 to 4. So we are uh, a value within 7 and 10, uh, so 8. And the last one, so for 65 miles per hour, we are here in 1,300. So we are in this range right here. Um, and 1 to 7, 4 slope. So 1 to 7, 4 slope, we would be uh, right here. So a value that is... Um, oh, sorry, uh, no, that's it, um, 20, 24 and 26, so that's 25. All right, uh, this concludes this solution. I hope you learned a lot, and I see you next time.